Hello guys, Varun here from the Apple Tutor, and in this special episode, I'm going to be giving you a full-length tutorial showing you how you can install Windows 8, the developer preview, um, for your Mac, and um, we'll be doing this using VirtualBox, and it's completely free, which is um, pretty good. So you want to go ahead to the description. The first link is basically to the download of VirtualBox. You want to go ahead and get it for Mac OS X, which is the second one, which says VirtualBox 4.1.2 for OS X hosts. You want to go ahead and download that. And in the second link, you want to go ahead and download the developer preview. And you'll notice there are three um, files here for download. You want to go ahead and download the second one. Well, well that's um, what I recommend, which is 3.6 gigs. And the first one is um, with all the developer tools. So this is for all the developers out there, which is pretty huge file, 4.8 gigs. And the last one is the 32-bit version. So I recommend getting the 64-bit version. Just click on download and it'll appear on your downloads. And uh, you might want to be a bit patient as it is fairly large. So once you got that, you want to go ahead and open up VirtualBox. I have it in my launchpad right here. Right here. Now, you want to go ahead and click on New once you've opened up VirtualBox. Just click on New. And um, it'll say, Welcome to the new Virtual Machine Wizard. Go ahead and click on Continue. And you want to name it whatever you want to name it. So since I've already named it Windows 8, I'll name it Windows. You can name it Windows 8, but I already have a copy here, so it'll basically be a duplicate. And the operating system is basically Microsoft Windows. And the version, we actually want to keep it to Windows 7. You can either keep it at the Windows 7 normal, or you want to get it at the 64-bit. I keep it as a 64-bit version. Go ahead and click Continue. And this is basically uh, selecting the amount of RAM um, in megabytes. So um, this is basically to be allocated in the virtual machine. Um, I recommend something around around 700 megabytes. It's, it's completely up to you, depending on how much RAM your computer has. I want to get it up to 700. Yeah, 710 is fine. Go ahead and click on Continue once you're ready. Now you want to go ahead and create a new hard disk. And um, it should be checked in the startup disk. And um, there are four options here. You want to go ahead and select the first one, which is VDI, Virtual Box, box um, Disk Image. Click Continue. And you can choose between these two. I normally choose Fixed Size. Go ahead and click Continue. And then this will basically be your location where you want to download it or where you want to actually save it. I'll save it in my desktop. And uh, I want to save it as Windows. Yeah, just Windows. And um, for the size, this is completely up to you. Um, I recommend 20 gigs or above. Um, I just want to keep it at, I don't want to uh, keep it too high since this is only a developer preview. So maybe around 20, maybe around 23 is fine. Now, this is basically a summary. Once you feel everything's okay, you can go ahead and click on create. So now this will basically create it. It will take some time. So um, with a little bit of movie editing magic, I'm going to skip through this process. So as you can see, it's nearly done. And um, our virtual disk is nearly created. Just 19 seconds remaining. And um, should be done any time now. And we're done. Now, just basically a summary, you want to just finalize it by clicking on create. Now, you'll see that we have it right here. What you want to do is you want to double click on it. And it'll basically start up. Okay. So, we'll give up this message. You want to ignore this for the time being. And um, it'll say, welcome to the first run wizard. You want to go ahead and click on continue. And in, under media source, you want to go ahead and select the file you downloaded the uh, Windows Developer Preview file. You want to go ahead and click on this little button right here. And um, you want to go ahead and click on where you saved it. So I saved it the cool stuff. And it's right here. Okay, so once you've done that, 
you want to go ahead and click on continue and then you can just see all this and click on start now it will start running and uh, you can see that it's loading the files this will take a um, little, a little bit of time but you can see that it's running w Windows Developer Preview okay so this is basically pretty basic time and currency format the uh, keyboard or input method language all that go ahead and click on next go ahead and click on install now and you'll see setup is starting this will also take um, take some time but uh, we should be patient so um, this part you want to go ahead and click on I accept these license terms click on next you want to go ahead and click on custom advanced no need to upgrade and then there's basically going to be one disk here just click on that and click on next so now it will install windows and um, this is where you can just move up from your computer you can chill out for a bit just um, wait for a while and um, it should be done pretty soon okay guys so um, I'm here now in windows the windows developer preview and I'm sure you guys might be getting the message uh, your computer will restart now but it won't obviously because you're not r actually running the uh, PC it's only in virtual box so it's only a virtual machine so yeah do not show this message again and um, it should boot up any minute now I think it's just preparing some things right in the last minute okay guys so um, here we go we're on Windows 8 right at the moment. I'm just going to set it up real quick here. Okay, guys, so uh, I'm in Windows 8 right now. And it looks really cool. This is the first um, startup screen here. Just Internet Explorer, all kinds of cool apps here. If I want to access my desktop, I can just click over here to my desktop. And, hmm, pretty good. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, cool tutorial. And uh, definitely more tutorials coming up. And I'll catch you guys for the next tutorial. Cheers.